Yo, what is up you guys welcome back to another video so we are back again with undead unluck episode 21 we got three more episodes left you guys this anime i feel like personally has been very very underrated this year and not a lot of people are checking it out and it did uh start trending a little not trending but people were talking about it last week but they were talking about how the cgi was apparently bad i didn't think it was bad but you know Nowadays, people are so spoiled with such insane animation that something that's even like slightly below their expectation, they go crazy. I didn't think it was too bad. They were talking about when Anu Un like drew the guillotine with their pen and it chopped the spiders. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't really care, but whatever. That's not what we're here to talk about. Speaking of Anu Un and last episode, you guys, we found out Anu Un is kind of broken. Because they are able to create things and just um, materialize them out of nowhere. They did that with Andy's arm. And actually used a stronger attack than we've ever seen Andy use. Which is crazy. They drew a plane and just created it. Took Fuku and Andy and flew away when they were fighting Autumn. And they also managed to make a union badge that lets them talk to the other members and stuff. And they were asking Juiz if they can train Fuku and Andy. And initially Juiz said hell no. But Fuku said you know. Anon risked their life to save us, so I trust them. And then Andy was saying, This person seems to know about my past, and so I need to know to become stronger. And Juice was like, All right, fine. And she was saying, You know, under two conditions, I guess one condition. No, she said, Come back alive and uh, basically be Autumn. So those are two conditions. Sorry, I got confused a little bit. But towards the end of the episode, Anon drew Autumn's arm and sliced Andy with it. And Andy got turned into a book because that's what Autumn can do. Autumn can. Autumn feeds on people's biography, so what they what it does is it slashes people and they turn into a book and Autumn can just read their life. And that's how I believe it um, you know, uh, it gets the energy and stuff like that. So it's interesting. I really the one thing I love in this anime, you guys, are is like the powers and like how things work. It, it it's extremely unique. Especially like the unability, the negator abilities, you know. They're broken, but at the same time they're not. Because other people are broken as well. I mean they are broken, but like there are other people who are just as broken, you know, so it doesn't seem as broken, if that makes sense. So I find it really, really interesting, and the concept is phenomenal. But the one thing I love about this anime more than all of that is the lore. Obviously, I say it every video, but Andy turned into a gigantic book that went from Anon's uh, floor of their house all the way up to, like, you know, outer space. So I found that interesting, obviously, Andy. I'm not sure if we're going to get, a like, Andy's past right now, or Victor's past, I guess. I just speculate on a lot of things that victor and andy might be two souls in one body which that's what it seems like right now because when victor comes out he, he talks to andy talking about yo i'm not giving you control so i guess it's two souls and i do hope that by the end of the series we end up having them split off and uh, andy goes with fuko and victor goes with juiz because we know that juiz and victor were you know they were getting it on you know a long time ago but i want to learn how andy came to be and how victory was sealed so that's very very interesting i like this anime a lot you guys i'm excited to see where we get in this one so if you guys enjoy consider leaving a like commenting if you're new here you guys consider subscribing let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below my full uncut and early reactions are available on my patreon the link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below feel free to check that out you guys and without further ado let's get right on into undead unlock episode 21 So the rate this portion is included. Ooh. Yeah, Andy's been here. Bro had pet dinosaurs. This. Yeah, I'll level it. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Yo, Fuku got turned to ghost. ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケルボ。ドルケ
こどこもうアンディの記憶の中ってことハロいやアルター・モーゲンジャパニーシリテロガーピーキングレスアイムノーマルエイティーンノーデンドントタッチミーオーケーアムクライアンシュルスディムイングレスオーワオアンデソンオーワオガキドモアゼインタスケランジャーナカトロガーガキニスタヨーコノコタチノシリアイザーナイヨーイワイ That's Anderson. Oh, ah, Nihongo Nihonjinka. Oh, my God, Nihongo s h a a n d i to what a r d a Damn, oh, my God, h e c a p t a i n Who's this? Josh. Josh. Is she a shit on? I'm c r a z y Just a light stroke? Yeah, she got shit on. Bro, that's crazy. Wait, Andy's like. <laughs> you witch, you must be. He speaks Japanese, doesn't she? <laughs> you in some fashion? Saloon and restaurant, bro. That's some Red Dead Redemption. Ah, oh, she speaks it too. Learn how to quick draw. She's like Beatrix from Zone 100. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Sunflower. Wait. Could this be? Because that, that teacher had this same thing as well. Are they, is this the teacher? No. It's not, but like, I find that in, it's not the teacher, obviously, because she had like purple hair, but like, I find it interesting that she's wearing a similar thing. And this is the same town where Spoil was, obviously. That's funny. Andy, what are you doing now? I'm over. 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 Damn. But Fuku knows his future. But the thing is, I wonder is like, did this not occur in the past? Why didn't Andy remember it was like, oh, Fuku? Or maybe he did, who knows? Dead <laughs> Yeah, Andy sounds so serious in this one. Yeah. <laughs> You're always naked. Damn, they pulled the straps. They said, yeah, don't play with us. He's gonna be like, I'd never do that. They don't know. Oh, that's that far back. Wow, we're, go we're doing this. That's why she's best girl. Mm. Damn. Let's play Russian roulette. Yeah, wow. He took five all one still in there. 
Yo, that is ridiculous, bro. Nah, Fuko, you're braver than me, bro. I would not do that. I'd be like, yo, go fuck yourself, bro. I don't care. Yo, she's gonna shoot. She's so cute. Just fine. Yo, Kibuka's adorable. I like you. <laughs> Yo. Huh? Yo. <gasps> what the fuck? His crew just got. Bro, that kid died. They're all dead. Wow, she be she betrayed them. Wow. Oh, for the kids, but like, bro. You're better than me, Josh. I would not do that, to be honest. Damn, what the fuck? I was having fun and just. Bro, I hate this anime. It does this to me every time. What the He's gonna go kill them all. His suffering. Wow, bro, Josh and them just got fucking killed. Bro, that's scary. Wow, they all died. Josh Sanders red. Wow, Josh too? I liked her. I mean, I didn't even think that. Like, it was so many years ago, she's probably dead, but bro, like this? She didn't have a choice, so I, I understand. He's in a difficult situation. Yo, this brother said Yama. Sakeo didn't have a. I understand though, like she was stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know? She's like, I see that she sets them up or the kids keep getting bullied, bro. Like, you know, I understand the kid kidnap story. Bro, I. I joined your crew now. I'm dropping you off at a near. Bro, oh wow, time is flying! Okay, so we're just gonna get a time skip, bro. Wow! <laughs> I have dreams. Holy shit. And you never cracked this one. Wow, Josh and them really got packed up like that. One stroke of unluck coming up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bring Andy his food. Don't let the captain fill you up. You're eating, right? Aww. Aww. The unlock ritual is like. <laughs> oh, I, that's so.
<laughs> oh man. This is so cool. Staring on my chest like Think about these things anyway. Uh, Budweiser. <laughs> Yo, I um Oh man. When a man is forgotten. Shigo. だって私のパパとママはずっと私の心の中にいてずっとお前は悪くない。あ。みのもみから逃れるために作った幻影かもしれない。でも、Oh, Miss Josh. Oh, he smiled. Oh. Boy, all that hard work I did for it. Oh. That's my oldest memory. He's about to give her a look. The one I love is this. Oh, look, she's, she admitted that she's in love with Andy. Aww. That, that, that right now. Aww. Look, I hate you so much. You're so cute. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, literally. We're starting to fade away. One forty-four years from now. And that's what Andy did, bro. Oh man. Damn, bro. The lore in this anime. That's what Andy kept going after her. Like, Bro, this is so good! Holy shit. 1865. So she's going more and more in the future. No, this is in the past, isn't it? Well, you guys, that was pure and utter peak. That was so good, you guys. That episode was so good i had goosebumps all the way through andy's crew with like josh and them and i thought like obvious for some reason i didn't realize that they would end up dying eventually but because obviously this was so far in the past excuse me but you know the way they died was so tragic they you know they were they saved Fuku and a bunch of children from some bandits the bandits uh, showed up to the bar they got set up andy and them basically got set up by the the manager of the saloon which she didn't have a choice, you know, it's either she sets them up or the kids keep getting kidnapped and stuff. Andy's entire crew got aired out. They all died except for Andy, obviously he's undead. And Josh saved Fuko. Fuko, like, you know, there was an, a, a crazy time lapse where they were traveling and they met and lost so many people. They did so many things. And then, you know, at last they were talking and then they were talking about what do, when do you think a person dies? And I said it, it was like, you know, because I'm a big One Piece fan and, you know, uh, Doctor Hiruluk, Hiruluk, Hiruluk. I think. Yeah, I forgot. I I forgot how to pronounce his name. But he was saying he said that a man dies when he is forgotten. You know, and I said that, and then Fuko said the exact same thing. I was like, wow, that's so good. And then you guys, we got the craziest, craziest connection to episode one, where when Fuko was starting to get sent to Washington D.C. April fifteenth, eighteen sixty-five, she told Andy, she's like, listen, for August. 1st 2020 144 years from now we're gonna meet 
at Shinjuku Station. I'm gonna try to run away. Don't let me go. And then we see in episode one, Andy was just chasing after her. He would not let her go. You guys, that was that that was crazy. And the fact that he when when she asked him for his name, he said he doesn't know. He doesn't have one. And it's because she he I, he knew that she was gonna give him the name Andy. You guys, that I I am my mind is blown right now. I'm I'm so shocked. This anime is so freaking good. Like, wow. You know, and then obviously we're gonna... I feel like what's gonna happen is we might... probably Maybe at the end of the next episode. Or maybe in like... And maybe at the end of like... The season. Because we have three more episodes left. It's, it might end with Fuku coming back. But I don't see this flash, this uh, situation going on for too much longer. Because they are doing time lapse lapses. So maybe next episode. And then we have to beat Aud- Autumn as well. I don't know if he will. But I don't know. I'm told that this arc is supposed to end before the season ends. So, or when the season ends. So, you guys, that was incredible. Such a phenomenal episode, you guys. It gave me chills, especially when Fuko was telling Andy that 144 years from that time they're going to meet at Shinjuku Station. She's going to try to run away and to not let her go. And if you guys go back and watch episode one, uh, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this that Fuko try, kept trying to run away and Andy wouldn't let her. He kept grabbing her and this and that and it's because he remembered her you guys that is so crazy to me i can't wait till she goes back and she tells she remembers that you know or she talks to andy about it and i want andy to straight up be like yeah i remember it oh that'd be so good you guys i can't wait this is going to be amazing this is going to be so good you guys and i i was hoping that we would learn more into how victor and andy became two separate entities or whatever or like the origin of that but i mean learning about this is pretty good too you guys this is good i can't wait so if you guys enjoyed consider leaving a like comment thing if you're new here you guys consider subscribing let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below my full uncut and early reactions are available on my patreon the link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment down below feel free to check that out you guys and as always i will catch you guys in the next one